All right, hey, what's up, folks? Uh, Earthmaster here. It is Friday night, uh, June seventh, two thousand nineteen. Friday night. Holy moly! What am I doing home? Eight fifty-seven p.m. West Coast time here in California, and uh, we're gonna talk a little bit about an asteroid that uh, is gonna make a pretty close approach to Earth, and kind of the importance of um, all these. Um, measurements and whatnot that the uh, professionals claim to uh, put out to the uh, public you know us folks out here just reading their information and and agreeing with it so um, we'll go ahead and take a look at the most uh, well we're looking at earthquake 3d globe here on the right and also some live data earthquake data seismograph stations here on the left um, all this is current and updated information and um, well, we'll get on with this asteroid here, which is uh, asteroid 2006 QV89. And it takes a very simple search into Google or Yahoo or whichever search engine you want to use. There's quite a bit of fear mongering going on out there, um, but not as much as I would expect. Um, there's like a one in 7,000 chance of this thing hitting Earth, according to the, uh, well, according to the European Space Agency, I think NASA put this thing at about 1 in 9,200, 9, we'll check that here in just a minute, 1 in 9,200 chance of hitting Earth, <clears throat> and, um, it's not a big asteroid, but it is uh, definitely something that could cause a little bit of damage, uh, pinning it, make it to the ground, or uh, you know, make it into water somewhere like the ocean. Um, so yeah, it could definitely do a little bit of damage out here, folks. So I'm gonna go straight just to the source to show you guys that I'm not BSing and I'm not. Uh, making anything up here um, this is straight off the Wikipedia website here you can type it in yourself if you like 2006 Q B 89 right see that there I want to show you guys the difference there not difference there is no difference so this let's go on and read a little bit here um, According to Wikipedia, Apollo, a near-Earth asteroid roughly 30 meters, 98 feet in diameter. It's a, it's, it's a pretty big rock. You know, it's a 98 feet. That's a... Well, we'll go into that here in just a second. It was discovered on the 29th of August, 2006, when the asteroid was about, uh, uh, you know, this that distance right there from the Earth. Hold on a second here. Let me bring up my interaction uh, thing here. So we're looking at this distance right here when it was last observed, 2006, uh, roughly about uh, two two million eight hundred, yeah, two two point eight million miles from the Earth, and uh, it goes into talking about some solar type stuff here. Uh, the asteroid has a short 10-day observation arc and has not been detected since 2006 so not a 100% certainty that these folks are, are are accurate right in their guesstimates since 2006 has been quite a long time ago the asteroid is estimated to make a 2019 close approach to earth around the 23rd to 27th of September which is rather odd because digging up information I'm looking at various news sources saying that uh, this thing will make a closest approach on the 9th of September so a little bit of a uh, interesting stuff there as far as uh, not a whole lot of accuracy um, this coming off of cnet.com which is somewhat uh, reliable right i use cnet.com and they're saying here <clears throat> i'll just read this real quick asteroid 2006 
QB89 currently has a 1 in 7,000 chance of hitting Earth on the morning. So they know the exact time, right? The morning of September 9th, according to the European Space Agency, which lists the space rock as the fourth most concerning object on its top 10 list. But Wikipedia here has it around the 23rd to the 27th. So we will have to see here and uh, dig a little bit more information up. Uh, continuing on here, you can. that's why I'm talking about right here, the 23rd to the 27th of September. Right? You guys see that highlighted, hopefully? Okay. So the impact threat right here has a low 1.07. It's going to go into a bunch of details and a bunch of um, orbital type maps and diagrams and all that good stuff, right? So a little bit confusing because I'm not really super knowledgeable and all that stuff. I study earthquakes and tornadoes and weather, right? So this stuff is a little bit out of my league, but it's still interesting nonetheless. And I'll point out a little, uh, a little detail here in just a minute. Uh, we're okay. So we're looking at uh, if you read this right here with respect to the ecliptic ep plane and the Earth. Uh, what is that? Moid of only ten thousand kilometers, where the Earth will be known. Okay. So anyway. They keep talking about that the observation window, right? The observation arc having not been observed since 2006. The century risk table shows an estimated 1 in 9100 chance or 9100, however you want to pronounce that, of the asteroid impacting Earth on September 9th, 2019. At a distance right here, right the distance right here is only four, well, four and a half million miles, right? With a sigma three three sigma uncertainty of ten or negative million miles, or million, what do we got here? Million kilometers, okay. So let's talk kilometers here. We're looking at seven point five million kilometers estimated right with an uncertainty of 10 million kilometers so you know it's like it's like well it could hit center field it could hit the uh left field it could hit home base it could hit the uh the pitcher in the face it could hit uh first base it's a pretty good estimate, right, that these guys are throwing out here. But there's a lot of uncertainty right here, and they do announce that. They do put this thing out here uh, with that uncertainty of 10 million kilometers. Okay, so the chances, you know, it's pretty good. If things line up correctly, if things are meant to happen the way they're supposed to happen, there's a good chance this asteroid will hit us. Um... But the timing is very confusing with uh, with the information that's out there right now. Um, so this company right here also lists the nominal 9th September 2019 Earth distance as... Okay, we got the same information there. Here is the European Space Agency lists the odds of impact of a comparable... Is that right? Impact at a comparable 1 in 7300 on September 9th, 2019. So apparently we should get a little bit better estimate here around the end of July according to these folks here with the uh, um, opposition forecast. And that's it. They end it just like that according to Wikipedia so the thing that bugs me folks is the issue with the uncertainty right here this uh, uh, uncertainty of 10 million kilometers right here so that kind of puts puts us within that slingshot um, window 
the slingshot uh you know if you got a slingshot i i, I suck at sling, slingshots right I, could, I can't hit anything it goes this way it goes that way it goes up it goes down sometimes it goes behind me but the importance here is that there's a big area that they're playing that's being thrown at us with this asteroid and it's not super big it's really not um 98 feet in, in diameter i thought these folks were going to explain exactly comparable sizes but i don't believe it's on the wikipedia site so let me check here on a couple a couple other ones here they say that an asteroid about this size hits earth roughly every uh, couple few centuries right so it's been quite a while since we've seen uh, um, a sizable asteroid hit us But, uh, you know, they're saying it's roughly the size of, uh, one second here. I'm looking at a couple different things here on my side as well. So 98 feet in diameter. We're looking at, uh, you know, football. Pretty much a football size field asteroid hitting us you know it's it's a lot bigger than the asteroid that hit over russia um i'm sure you guys seen that asteroid it was very viewable throughout uh, uh social media a lot of people had dash cams over there in russia and they caught that early early morning uh asteroid which uh, lit up the sky which was roughly about the size of a bus and this one here being a much much larger so uh you know imagine imagine the sonic boom that 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 thing is going to create uh the one in russia definitely created a sonic boom and, and shattered windows uh, many 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 miles away so something the size of a football field we're looking at uh some considerable um damage there wherever it may hit if it does indeed hit earth so you know there's no fear mongering i'm just trying to point out a little bit of uh, information that i see out there i'm looking at uh you know a couple different uh websites and uh they're somewhat consistent but they're somewhat different as well as far as the date goes far as the um well the the odds are still there they're pretty uh they're somewhat favorable in a way i mean much much better than actually i think what, what do we got here one in seven thousand chance okay so i was playing the mega millions i think went back a few months ago when it was like at its highest and i think you had a one in seven thousand chance of hitting we're somewhere around there of hitting like a uh the low the low jackpot it's like three dollars or something like that can't remember how many numbers but i i ended up hitting it so i got my three dollars and i uh, thought man i'm one of those uh lucky lucky people that hit this so the odds are um high when they state the 10 million kilometer window of uncertainty that's what we have to look at and Hopefully they give us a little bit more information when it comes to um, the path that it may take and whatnot. So kind of worrisome. I mean, it's not a big deal. It's not like one of those uh, complete um, extin extension level events. It's definitely not, but uh, still a big deal as it could do some major damage out there, folks. So I will continue to watch it. I, I, I don't think I covered everything I wanted to on that asteroid, but um, let me see here. 
there's definitely a lot of information out there folks type in 2006 qv89 into google google and uh, you will find a tremendous amount of inf information out there take a look at the california nevada recent earthquake map shows that uh, well dwindling earthquake activity in southern california but not completely we're still seeing a little bit of activity down there um, inland compared to what we were seeing just off the coast here a couple days ago so um, i'm still going to keep the live stream up as i feel it's somewhat important as i believe we still may see some type of uh, energy release out here following this uh, activity a little bit of activity in uh, north well central nevada lake tahoe region just uh what do we got south of reno area a little bit of earthquake activity here 3.7 in carson city area down here on the bottom that you guys can see so yeah they uh they can have earthquakes up there in the reno area as well i think their biggest earthquake was uh right around the six so i can't remember the exact date but uh, definitely some damage could be done up there as there's quite a bit of fault systems surrounding uh this well sierra nevadas and uh, just east of there as well so um other than that you know i, I kind of said i was going to be a short update but uh, it took a little bit longer than i wanted to but uh definitely a lot of information when it comes to the asteroid that's uh gonna make somewhat of a close call here so no major earthquakes to report out there folks around the globe right now looks relatively quiet in the large earthquake department um, latest earthquake is going to be up here in the right hand corner of the box with a 3.2 showing up down there in south america region there so uh, we'll keep an eye on that as well anyway folks i uh, hope everyone has a good night um, i will be doing like i said a little bit more investigating and uh, research into this asteroid that's going to make a close approach here and uh, see if i can't find out a little bit more details on that uh, situation there so have a good night folks i gotta get up super super early and uh no staying up late partying for me peace out folks have a good night we'll catch you guys a little bit later stay safe everyone